Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of Universe Sandbox 2. Here we are in this uh, crazy system right here. Uh, it's a simulation of uh, an Earth solar system which seems to cause many impacts and many crazy things to uh, to go wrong. Lots to calculate here as we can see uh, the Earth going around there. Now if you guys have uh, any uh, concerns about um, performance, just know that I am recording at the same time. We just take a big performance hit on the computer. Um, so there is that. Um, today we are going to explore uh, a lot of maybe some other cool simulations. That would be nice. Galaxies, we haven't really... Alright, let's see. Wow. It's not what I was thinking of when we looked at a galaxy. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, it is cool. It's a lot more organic. Whoa, jeez. Look at that. That is... That's interesting. Uh, home... Uh, elliptical? Sure. Man, that's, that, that's a weird galaxy simulation. Collision? So it's two... All right, two sort of galaxies... Are colliding with each other. Let's fast forward. Eventually we'll see it happen. Two million years, three million. This one seems to be expanding. Oh, wow. Well, there you go. That one's just kind of blowing up. All right, that's not, that's not too interesting. Encounters. Okay. Sun and above. The sun, and there seems to be another sun coming in. So this is, this is like Nibiru, right? This is like a sun coming in. Now, what, what, what impacts did that have on real life? Well, Mercury, I don't know if Mercury is acting weird, but all that it really seemed to do, I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a star coming in. A star the size of the sun coming in at incredible speed, I will admit. Coming in right in between the orbits of Earth, uh, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and I mean, that's crazy. All right, let's redo that simulation. Earth, uh, Sun from above. All right, so it just comes in over here like that. So now we're going to go and boom. All right, that seems fantastic. So now we've got this one. Let's drastically reduce its speed. What is the speed of this thing? Uh, total velocity, 100 kilometers per second. Let's change it to, not 100, but let's change it to, I don't know, maybe 10, uh, sorry, 10 kilometers per second. There you go. Let's make that one go by at 10 kilometers per second. And, uh, let's, let's see what happens here as it flies by. Its speed is going up, but it seems to have changed its path. Pause. Again, speed 10. There you go. Right. Now it is coming in. Flying flat. Stop. And it hasn't really affected anything else. I mean, it is the mass of the sun. Now it's going that speed, so we'll just make it go 10 again. Probably crash into the sun. Okay. Now we can make it go 10 uh, in, I guess, the negative sense. So negative 10. Boom. Play that. So all of that just happened. And our sun just stayed perfectly, perfectly even. I don't even know if it's really actually played a role in, in anything around here. It doesn't seem like it's thrown off any of the orbits of the planets it just seems like boom all right uh motion should we zero the velocity position lock on there you go position lock boom so the sun seems to be position locked but what does this do what does having two suns do anything no doesn't really seem like it Let's fast forward. Well, it seems to be changing. Maybe it's changing the orbits of the planet. This is the way some of them orbit stuff. It's hard to tell whether or not this actually does anything. 
Interesting. How weird is this? I mean, I, I honestly have no idea. Well, what, what about Earth? What do we know about Earth? The surface temperature on Earth is much higher. The total velocity, I don't know if that's much higher. The mass in, well, in Earth, that hasn't changed, obviously. Um, what about uh, the orbital period is the same? Huh. The surface temperature of Earth is just incredibly higher because we now have two stars. The orbital period is the exact same. Weird. All right. Let's uh, let's do a uh, a grid. No, I don't want to do a grid. A chaotic orbit uh, system video system B. Uh, stop. I don't understand what we just what we just witnessed. So I'm going to undo that. Choreo, no collisions. Sure, let's check out some more collisions. Um, Earth and Jupiter. Woom. Wow. Well, hey, it's affected Jupiter quite a bit. That's pretty cool. Home. Uh, wolf and Earth. Oh, is that, okay, there you go. There's Earth crashing into a star. Wow. Really seems to really seems to have done something there. Wow, that's pretty crazy. All right, home, Earth and Sun. The Sun unaffected. Yep, the sun seems to be rather unaffected by what just happened to it. What about Earth and asteroid? All right, let's see. Let's see what this does. Let's uh, let's fast forward. Oh, seems like uh, maybe global temperatures have. Well, global temperatures have maybe are they dropping? Yeah, global temperatures are dropping. I think it might be there might be some greenhouse effects. Oh yeah, look at that. The ice the ice the poles are getting much bigger. So that really would change the earth's climate substantially and only a few degrees drop is causing uh, I mean really the big expansion of um of the ice of the ice caps. I mean that is that is crazy. Uh, you can see ice has now gone down very low. The Earth's axis might have completely changed as well. Do we have... Is that a thing? Motion is position, velocity, orientation. No, the Earth's axis didn't change. But really, the Earth is getting cold with no signs of stopping. So if we change that to... Snowball Earth has now happened. Uh, things are frosting over, as you can see. Boom. And the temperature doesn't really seem like it's going to recover. All of that happened within a year. Everything on Earth is pretty much dying. It's getting worse, 50 degrees. The last of humanity is, is dying right now. And there you go. We can only live so through so much. And this doesn't really seem to... I mean, it's just it's just completely messed up. So what what kind of an impact was that? Earth versus an 85 meter, 17 kilometer. I don't know what 85 m, 17 kilometer. I'm assuming 17 kilometer or two. Hmm. I don't know what the m stands for. 45 degrees. Earth Moon in slow motion is another one which we've already done, but that's okay. So this one, that one's just going to have much more profound, quick effects. Global temperature initially rises, but then uh, very quickly things are going to um, devolve into a much worse situation. There you go. Beautiful. All right. The Earth climate has not changed. But starting to drop already within a few days. Oh, there you go. And the further impacts kind of warm it up, but now it does look like it is in a permanent decrease. Yeah, all right, things are getting bad. It's eight days, and already, already things have gotten much colder. Earth and moon in slow motion. Wow. Okay, so we can't click on, we can click on the moon. What if total velocity... 
we just go here and we just make that I mean it's already made impact but we go negative boom and we fast forward it oh no the kill okay so it's still still happening it just disappeared that's too bad I wanted to make it negative it didn't really work out home okay Earth and moon, earth and moon, earth and moon, grazing, earth and moon, grazing. Wow, that's a cool effect. I mean, that wouldn't, that wouldn't do very well. Uh, earth and moon, grazing, HV. Wow, that just sucks in the moon, doesn't it? Earth and, earth and moon times earth and moon times five boom oh boy that would that would not go well an impact like that oh man what a disaster that would be do we have any other cool things uh can we open all right let's uh let's let's see what's in this open menu i don't want to stress test anything it already doesn't really go bad supernovas Supernovas in close up. Oh wow. Okay. It's gonna be interesting. One second per second. Uh, let's change it to even slower motion and see what exactly happens here. I mean, we just have that. Okay. Supernova remnant. Nothing happened. Oh. Anything happen? Oh, hold on. Let's see. Is anything going up? Is the mass or any numbers changing? Can't tell. Motion. Honestly, I have no idea. Supernova remnant. Seems like it's just disappeared. Oh. Well, that's too bad. Home. Stellar evolution of our sun. Uh, oh, okay, hold on, so the sun should get bigger? What can we see about it? Oh, okay, oh. And then it becomes a supernova remnant. I mean, it was cool for like a second. And that's gonna be it, she's gonna die off, his temperature's just gonna, gonna get colder and colder. And its age just gets older and older. Well, that was, that was pretty lame. Um, exoplanets, sure, let's see. Ooh, what the heck is this thing? Wow, that's a gas giant, eh? Oh, 61 V, okay, so that's like maybe a real one. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, uh, what if we have about uh, supernova uh, experiments? Earth and moon times six, no collision. Wow, what the hell? I mean that's just that's just one of the more bizarre things that I've seen. I have no idea what the hell that is. Earth in between suns. Oh god. Um Can we 30 days? Okay, let's slow this thing down. What the hell is this weird line? Is this because there are two suns? Oh, so that's like a night line. Really, night is like a weird circle. We would ex you, so there would be like a there would be a night. Oh wow, that's weird. All right, what else do we have? Um, asteroid. Oh lord, I don't even know where where am I even at? I'm zooming into Earth, flying in quite nicely. Am I the asteroid? Honestly, I don't know what we're watching, but okay. Um, Earth next to Sun. Is this the Earth? It doesn't. It doesn't look. It doesn't look promising for the Earth. I'll be honest. Its velocity is extremely fast. Oh, look at that! So we have Earth right next to Sun. We have Earth. Oh wow, that's very close. That thing is going to be dead. That thing is going to be. I mean, that's that's pretty bad. But that's that's one tenth the distance. That is a quarter of the distance, and that seems to maybe be sustainable for life. A quarter of the distance, that is a one. That's half the distance. Yep, that seems to totally work out. That is Earth. 
This is a little Earth a little bit further. Still seems to work out. Earth a little bit further. Yeah. Earth six times. Is it six Earths? Six distances? Wow, even six distances it seems to work out. Wow, so the habitable zone is really big. It's about uh, it's about 0 0.5 AU to 6 actually seems to all work. That's pretty big. All right, I can, I can deal with that. Anyways, that was fun looking at a lot of stuff today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. And as always, tune in tomorrow for more Hot Universe Sandbox 2 action. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh, yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Oh, yeah. Have a good one.